What's good, YouTube? Nocturnal Duck here with a brand new deck for you in your head, and this is a spicy tamale. Let's check it out. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to win with this hammer. And the way we're gonna do that is turn one hammer, turn two mask of immolation, turn three Shahili, minus two her, do the mask as a copy of the hammer and swing in with an 11, 11 on turn three. So if they take 11 damage and go to nine, we have the rest of the game sealed up. If they block it, that's fine. We've, you know, really kind of spooked them and caught them off guard. The other way is with our Fervent Champion, we can attach the hammer for five, so that's already really nice, and Haste is a big player in this. Uh, Dreadhorde Butcher, another Haste, which is beautiful, but if we attach the hammer to him and he dies, that's going to do 11 damage to face, so that's broken. They don't want him to die. The, um, we also have our Burn Crusher, that's just going to zap any creatures that are in the way, and then also give us a 4-3 later in the game, which can be quite handy. Our Krenko, now he's the main target for the hammer in my mind. You put the hammer on him and swing, you're getting in with a 12-11, and he's leaving behind 12 goblins. That's just, it seals the game up for the rest of the game. We also have our Crystal Slipper, and our Mask of Immolation, obviously. But these two, you can just dump onto any of these guys and then use Shahili to then copy one of the Slipper or the Mask into the Hammer, and then that's a cheating way that you can get it onto these guys a lot easier. Now, there's another way we can do this, is with our Iron Crag feet. We can, with the seven mana we get, attach the Hammer, and then that's just on there for the rest of the game. That's good. The idea behind this is you use this and then attach the Hammer to the Dreadhorde Butcher, because then they don't want him to die at all. And if he does die, it's pretty much game over, and we have the option of attaching a mask and sacrificing him that way. So we can definitely get that damage through. Then we have our Embercleave. This thing is kind of a trick, I guess, because you can attack with a volume of things and then play this for pretty cheap, and then it attaches to a creature for free. Once it's attached, it's going to make it so they've got Trample and Double Strike, which is kind of important because if you have an Embercleave attached to any creature and you attach a Hammer as well, then that's the game. You're swinging in with a 22-22 Trample and Double Strike. So they're going to definitely be taking a monster amount of damage just from that. So that's the idea behind that. We really want the ability of Double Strike and Trample to happen, and hopefully we have this hammer attached to something already, and then we can just chuck this on and boom, game is done. Um, the Fires of Invention does help. It means we can, you know, turn four, hopefully play an Iron Crag, and then drop an Ember Cleave and swing in that way. But it's the main thing for this is so we can just pay for the, the hammer, you know, pay for the attachment of the hammer. So that's pretty much the whole deck. The land is a little bit ugly. I don't have any good lands as of yet. I'm still collecting them. I did put in the four dwarven mines because, you know, I do have quite a number of um, mountains and just getting those extra blockers or an extra target for the hammer is kind of handy, to be honest. Um, I, in a couple of my games, I did have... Let me just get him up so we can have a visual for this. I did have this Swift Blade Vindicator in the deck this guy here <clears throat> pardon me so this guy was in the deck before and mainly because if you put the hammer on him he's double strike vigilance trample already so that's already an amazing attacker but what i found the issue that i found with having him in the deck is he's a one one so he's very easy to just get rid of and you've spent all this mana trying to attach this hammer to him and then they just zap him so he's not the best sort of to stick around but also he's a white on turn two, and I've got the Butcher, which is a black. So obviously having three colors on turn two can be kind of janky. It was really slowing us down, and by the time I had him all out and doing his thing, he was just getting zapped and removed real quick. So I, I took out the three copies I had, and I put these three in instead. That was the changes that you probably see in a couple of my videos. But these actually have really come home and helped, you know, like compared to what he was doing. And realistically, this does count as another creature. And then we've got the Dwarven Mines, which can pump in a couple of other creatures. So 
there is ways to just sort of have a huge wall for blockers. We don't mind going all the way down to sort of two or three life because a lot of the time we are doing such an amount of damage and having them on the back foot. They're literally just putting blockers out, putting blockers out, and, and they just forget about their plan a little bit. A lot of the time I just win by scoop because they see the hammer and they see the crystal slipper already do the Krenko thing and then when they see Shahili drop they just scoop because they go yeah you're going to get so many freaking goblins and that's the game. So yeah that's pretty much the whole Bruskin. Let me know what you think of the games. Don't forget to hit me up in the comments if you see any cards that I'm not thinking of. I'm definitely open for suggestions and don't forget to like, subscribe and follow as I am going to be putting out a volume of decks this week coming. I've just built about five or six new decks. I'm in the process of testing them and I'm going to be periodic, uh, periodically be putting them out each day of this week. But I also am going to be going live and testing a few of the decks. So if you're keen, subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I'm going live and you can see my sort of testing process and my deck building process. So always open for some constructive criticism. But enough chin flapping from me. Let's get into some games. So we're going to mulligan that. Yuck. Put back a hammer. It's not much better. At least it's all red cards in hand. Okay, turn one. Hammer. Hmm. We'll just double up on this. And then I'll trigger each other. That's four damage. Sweet. Okay. Um, I think we need a black. Enter's tapped. And yeah. And turn. Okay, so he's bound to drop a creature here. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to do two damage to him. And then we'll go this fella and this one can come in tapped. So that's five damage. He, hasn't, he just hasn't dropped a single thing. Is he going to scoop or is he going to put something big down? Okay. Buff him. Sure. And... We will bring him down. But we are going to attach this to him. And all attack. Seven damage. He has to block the three one. Sweet. And turn. 
So unless he's got a sweeper, that's the game, right? Okay. Some life, I guess. Still can't swing in. Yeah, he's got it. He knows. <laughs> right, we'll keep this. Sucks about our land. Let's see what we can find here. No. Don't want that. Okay. Little moment of grace here. I'm going to pay two life. And I'm going to go on him. Okay. Eddie, how you going, mate? Okay, so the game's off to a start. First damage. We need a land. Sure. We'll just destroy him. Get that down to level life totals. Still missing that land. Is he missing a land? Looks like he is. We're both janking on land. This is fantastic. Okay, so now we'll swing in. Okay, he's just going to take it, and that's good for us. One more land and we've got a hammer strike going on. Okay, so he's all white, he's got his third land. So if we get our third land, like I said, we can swing with a hammer, so hopefully he does something with this. Okay, so there's his block for the hammer. Okay. Last turn. Yep, so it's not when he dies. Oh, he didn't attack. Oh, this is still not very fun. Okay. We'll go at him. They're gonna be two twos with first strike, so that's nice. Yeah, they buff each other. So we're still missing our land, that's really kind of rough. So one more land and we can actually put the ember cleave down as well, but that would be the better move. Okay, so we got him down to 16. Looks like he's gonna have a little bit of life. He's got Chinese pride, mate. And then this coming in giving him life, so... Yeah, that's fine. It actually does suck for the Ember Cleave, but... Whatever. 
Now surely you'll attack. No, no. Yes. Okay. Any minute now. Okay, so there's our other land. Now, should I get a Krenko down? I think that's the better move rather than wasting the Shahili. Past turn. So, next turn, if we get a land. Oh, I guess that's two though, isn't it? Yep. So you're going to attack. I doubt he will. He's got one land untapped. So we, I'm sure we're going to get a land here. Okay. Sure. I'm going to go no blockers and take two. Yep. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Hmm. I really want to be able to put that onto Krenko. But what I think we do here instead is we attack in. Attack in with everything. Get a couple of goblins to block. And where are you gonna block? Cool. Yep. And yep. Okay, any minute now. I'm going to put this under Krenko because that's going to make him super buff. What do you have, buddy? Eddie, what are you doing to me, mate? If you've got it, use it. Keep me sitting here waiting. Come on now. Your whole time has run down because you're deciding whether you're going to use one mana something. There we go. Okay. So that's fine. And then to damage. And then we shall actually Um, yeah, we'll just pass there. So next turn, if Cranko sticks around. And there he goes. Oh, I'm never going to get that hammer on Cranko, am I? So you're going to attack in. No, no, he is not. Ch 
Okay, so I think we still need... I'm going to put this Cranko down. And then we shall... I think I'm going to attack in. That's what we wanted. Yeah, man, yeah, really taking your time to think about this stuff, dude. And get rid of him. Okay, so we've got our Ember Cleave, our Colossal Hammer, and our Mask of Immolation all ready to go. Just no land. Freaking no land. Okay, so he had another one in hand. Um. I'm just going to attach there. Keep him back. Get a bunch more. Yep. And boom. So is he going to kill him again? Because if he sticks around, I'd be so happy to see this freaking volume of goblins <laughs> oh my god we're gonna see it that's so good so good okay so what the hell turn this into this Swing in. Thirteen dudes. Hmm. Yep, yeah, we got thirteen left over. Why can't I play that land? <laughs> I've been waiting for that land and now it just glitches out and not lets me play it. I'm just flabbergasted at this stupid, stupid thing. So next turn, I feel like he has to have a wipe. No. Oh. Okay. That's fine. He's going to kill Shahili here, I'm sure of it. I, just, I thought he would have had a wipe there, but luckily he hasn't. So he needs him to block, but he still doesn't have enough, right? He's still, he's going to go to one. What the hell? I just can't fathom this. Um, yeah, we'll pay two life there. And we'll pop that on there. We'll turn that mask into a hammer. And all attack. Fifteen attackers, wow. <clears throat> so that's 
so you have to block the big guy. Surprised you're doing that, but I guess you're taking 12 here, so... And... that's the game. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Good game, buddy. I don't think he expected me to have that many goblins. Alright, keep this. Go in for a scryzel first. Okay, we don't need any more land at this stage. We've got our four lands, and that's pretty much all we need. Um, so what do we need for that? Red and white. Um, I still think I get the slipper down. And then next turn we can swing with a swift blade. I'll take four. Do four damage to you? Yes. Surprised you did that in my turn. Um, okay, two. Okay, so we'll get four damage in. Bring him down to 16. Hopefully he risk factors again. Okay, he needs to draw a card. Oh, that does one damage. I didn't realise that. Okay. So we don't need that land. Um... We'll get him down. Touch this for free. And then we've got something to deal with any of his creatures. Pass turn. And then next turn we've got a Krenko. Making a bunch of dudes. So we're going to put down a dude. Okay. Risk Factor. Oh, interesting. Is he going to Risk Factor now? Yes, he is. I'll take action, sure. Get rid of that dude. Put down our Krenko. Add that to him. And swing in. Sweet. So, he's probably going to risk factor again, I'd imagine. Gonna discard he Okay. So there goes Krenko. Mr. Cranky. Well that's fine. I'm sure he's gonna risk factor here. So if he's going to risk factor I'm going to take it. Go to six. And then we shall bring this guy down. 
attach that to him. And swing in. Sweet. Six all. So he still held a... Okay, so he gets another dwarf. He's going to have to risk factor, but he has to discard to do that. So if he does, I'm going to take the four. Is there any option by the looks of it? Yeah. Yeah. No card draw for you. And we shall... Do two damage to him. <laughs> Alright, don't let me get my attack in, but that's fine. He just risk factored the whole game, so <clears throat> no wonder we were going to win. Nice.